everybody, welcome back to the Cupcake Gemma channel with me, Sally. And me, Dane. We are here at the Crumbs and Doilies Bakery in London, where the gang are super, super busy making so many cookies. I've never seen so many cookies in my life. No. <laughs> so we are squished here in the corner to bring you a delicious recipe. But before we get there, we just want to say hello to anybody new on our channel, because you may be here because you watched Gemma and I on the Sorted Food channel yesterday, where we were judging the cupcake battle, which was so much fun it was brilliant we had yeah. such a good laugh and now we're left with a massive project because we committed to selling the cupcakes that the normals came up with um, yesterday in our shop in the C&D Soho store on the 20th of November. Yeah, so you can come down. Us three will be there, me, Gemma and Sally and the guys from the Sorted Food channel and get some cupcakes that they have created all together. Yes, and you'll be able to pick your favourite and see whether it was the same as what Gemma and I picked yesterday on the challenge. Anyway, let's crack on with today's video, which is a cupcake recipe for this little guy. The Black Forest Ghetto Cupcake. It's a super moist, squishy chocolate sponge that has got um, a cash buttercream and chocolate curls around the middle. It's filled with a cherry cream and a dipped chocolate cherry on top. It it's, is. It's delicious. Yeah. So, <laughs> I'm going to leave Dane to show you guys how to make the chocolate cupcake, and I'll be back with the buttercream in a minute. So, yes. Can you do this? I can do this. You can do this. <laughs> <laughs> right. So the first thing we're going to start off with is a large bowl, and we're going to put our wet ingredients together. So I've got two large eggs here, going straight into the bowl. And then I have half a cup of buttermilk. Um, if you don't have buttermilk, you could just use something like um, a thick yogurt. That would kind of work the same. Or you could make your own buttermilk using some whole milk and just a couple of tablespoons of lemon juice, um, which kind of thickens it up a little bit. Then I've got 105 milliliters of just flavorless oil. This is just vegetable oil. Helps keep the cake nice and moist. Now also I've got some cold um, brewed coffee here as well. Um, half a cup as well and if you don't want to use the coffee which we always say but you can't really taste it it just amplifies the chocolate flavor in the sponge I would recommend it highly but if you don't want to just use water that is totally fine it's also going in and then we'll just give this a whisk together so that's all nicely broken up the eggs are broken up and next we're gonna combine our dry ingredients I'm gonna sift them straight into the bowl and I have 185 grams of caster sugar and 140 grams of plain flour going in there. And I've also got 30 grams of cocoa powder. Now, if you wanted to intensify the chocolate flavor even more, you could um, use half regular cocoa powder and half black cocoa powder. You know how much we love this here on the channel. So I sift those in, and I'm also going to add some raising agents and some salt. So just a quarter teaspoon of salt and a half a teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda and that will just help a little bit with the lift of the sponge as well. So that's all sifted in and then we'll just give that a whisk together and I'm also going to incorporate some chocolate chips in this too because we love a bit of chocolate chip texture in our chocolate sponge and we just put them in a food processor just to blitz them up a little bit because if you put them in whole they kind of just sink to the bottom and no one wants that you want them evenly dispersed so got 40 grams of just blitz chocolate chips here. We use 54% chocolate here um, from Calibo. It's really nice quality. But any kind of chocolate bar you've got, you can just chop it up and add it in. Our batter is ready. It's super thick and really chocolatey. Next thing to do with our chocolate batter is what we always do. It's really liquidy, so it's best not to pipe this. I mean, it'd be pretty hard. <laughs> um, I'll just pop it in a small jug and we shall kind of spoon it in. So I filled the cupcake cases about just over two thirds full and I preheated the oven to 150 degrees Celsius and we bake these a little bit of lower temperature because they've got oil in and it's a bit of a kind of denser sponge. So it just helps with the rise of these. 
these are going into the oven for about 22 to 25 minutes. You want to just press your finger on them until they spring back and then they're ready. Okay, let's make some buttercream. So we're going to be making some Kirsch buttercream and Kirsch is booze. <laughs> it's a very boozy cake, but we will give you an alternative if you don't want to go with booze. This is a cherry liqueur. I actually really like it. I didn't think I liked it and then I bought this the other day and I, I mean, I've drunk that much. <laughs> I'm kidding. That wasn't me. So we're just going to make a standard buttercream with this. So in my mixer, I've got 250 grams of really soft, unsalted butter. It's really like lovely and kind of spreadable. And uh, that's really important when you make buttercream because we want to whip this up. We want to get loads of air incorporated so we don't get like a horrible waxy kind of buttercream. So, got it in the mixer. You can do this with a hand mixer thing too. With the Gemma always does this, the wizards. <laughs> and we're going to mix this for about five minutes. It's going to go really white in colour and it'll be really fluffy. So, watch this space. Let's have a little look at this beautifully whipped up butter. This is what your butter needs to look like before you start adding any icing sugar to it. Because like I said, we're looking for that really fluffy buttercream. So in this bowl, I've got 400 grams of icing sugar, which I've already sifted. And then I'm gonna add about half of it into my bowl. Now you can just see how <laughs> crazy this icing sugar is. Looks like I'm coming out of a smoke machine. It's very dramatic. So I'm actually not gonna put this straight onto my mixer. I'm just going to mix it a little bit by hand just so it incorporates and doesn't get icing sugar everywhere and I would highly recommend doing this because whenever I make icing at home I make an awful mess. And there's one thing cleaning up a kitchen like this but cleaning up your home kitchen is a nightmare. Anyway, let's get this back on the mixer and we're going to continue whipping it. So we just want to whip it for as long as we possibly can. So another few minutes to just keep on incorporating loads and loads of air. So once that's had a few minutes, we'll do exactly the same with our remaining icing sugar. Chuck it all in, give it a stir by hand, then back on the mixer for another three to four minutes. All right, so this is your basic buttercream recipe. If you want to make vanilla buttercream, this is it. You just want to add milk and vanilla, but we are adding cash because that is what a Black Forest is all about. It's kind of retro. It's like, I remember as a kid, you'd always have a Black Forest gatto at a birthday party, wouldn't you? <laughs> and it smells so, so sweet and so strong. It's really, really nice. I really like it. It's like a cherry liqueur. So I haven't got a <laughs> measuring spoon, so I'm just going to... I'm just going to chuck it all in. You'd want to go for about two tablespoons at first, but as usual, when you're making buttercream, you're looking for the right consistency. So just add a little bit of liquid, mix it up, um, and then just add as you need to, if that makes any sense. Let's get mixing. So I'm just going to give a little taste test. Mm. So delicious. If you're gonna use this straight away, then that is great. If not, you can store this in an airtight container or cover it with cling film until you are ready to use it so that it doesn't go dry and crispy. It looks like our cupcakes are done. They look okay. lovely, young man. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> you did a grand job. What's next? So the next thing we're gonna do is strain our cherries to get some juice to put in the cream filling. So we've got these lovely Amarina cherries here. Um, we got them from an Italian delicatessen here in London. But if you can't get these, um, they're pretty pricey and they're pretty much a commitment. But it's a lovely jar. So if you want like, a jar to put on the shelf in your kitchen, go for it. Um, but if you can't get them, just um, get a can of cherries. You can get them from any supermarket in the kind of um, can section where the fruit and vegetables are. And just drain the syrup from there, reduce it down with a little bit of sugar on the hob for about five, ten minutes, um, and use the cherries in here to chop up and put in the cream. That is totally fine. Um, we're going to use these lush cherries Get the posh today. cherries out. Come uh, on. Only the best for Cupcake Gemma. <laughs> and just look <laughs> at this syrup. It's so oh thick. Oh, my gosh. And glossy. 
It's so beautiful and it smells incredible too. It really does. Mmm. So we're going to use yeah. a lot of this syrup. We're going to do various things with it, right? Yes. So, I don't know quite know what to do with this now. <laughs> <laughs> we'll pop them on here and we'll, we'll chop put it on here. Yeah. Um, so to get making the cream, I've already got um, about two tablespoons of icing sugar in this bowl. That'll just sweeten the cream and also thicken it a tiny bit as well. And I'm going to pour in just some double cream. I've got about 115 millilitres here. Going straight into the bowl and we'll just give it a whisk up by hand. You can do it with an electric mixer if you want, but this doesn't take too long because it's not a huge quantity. And he'll judge you. <laughs> 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 All right, so while Stain is whipping away, I'm just going to chop a few of these cherries up because we're going to put these in the filling as well because why the heck not? They are too good to not put in. They're nice and easy to chop as well. Just make sure they're quite um, small because we're going to use a piping bag and you don't want to jam up the end with cherries. Is that enough for you? Yeah, I'll do. Put like... We can put double that amount in. Go for it. Make it cherry licious. Someone yes. didn't quite understand how expensive these cherries were, did you? <laughs> well, I want the jar to take home. So oh, I, I need see. To empty it. <laughs> Although, if there's some cherries left in there, I won't say no. Look, and the cream is nearly done. And with this, what I found, Sally, actually, I don't know if you found this too when we were testing it out but um, if you kind of under whip the cream a little bit because when you put the cherries in, it kind of thickens it up a bit. Um, yeah. And I also put a little bit of the syrup in as well. Yeah, definitely. We've got all this syrup. We may as well use it. I'm just yes. going to wipe my hands because they are <laughs> cherylicious, as you said. <laughs> right, can I come in with these cherries? Yeah, I think so. We'll just okay. them in. Here we go. Ooh, yeah. Mm. Off you go. Nice. So pop a little bit of syrup in here. And just fold these through. So you can see that cream is thickening up nicely and it's a really pale kind of burgundy colour. It mm, is. It's delicious. It's, I just want to eat that with a spoon. Me too. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> just how you want it. It's not super whipped up, it's the perfect texture. Right, so we're going to put a little bit of this cherry syrup on top of our cupcakes as well, right? Yeah. And like with the tres leches, we kind of made little holes um, for the syrup to go into. And you can do this while they're still warm as well, because it will really help the syrup to absorb into the sponge. I don't want to get my fingers in the way of that. Oh, yes. Okey stick. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right, great. So I've got a paintbrush here. And we're just going to liberally, I reckon, drench the top of these. So this is all going to soak down into the cupcakes and it is best to do this when they're warm. And they look really beautiful too actually with this nice shine. Nice nice if you want to go like mega boozy, why not like mix in some more kush? Oh yeah. You know? That would be so good. I shall refrain. <laughs> <laughs> so because these cupcakes are still warm, we are going to need to wait for them to cool down before we go any further. Um, so, Dane, can you please do some washing up and clear yeah, of up? <laughs> he loves it, loves it. Right, we'll see you in a little bit. It is time to get filling. The cupcakes have cooled down. We've got our trusty apple corer here, which is the best tool it for really cutting is. holes, isn't yeah. it? <laughs> I honestly do think there's probably some really expensive tool to use to do this bit. You don't need it. Oh no, don't. don't. <laughs> Just get an apple corer. <laughs> so I've cut a hole, not all the way to the bottom, because we don't want to cut through the cupcake case. That would be quite tragic. <laughs> <laughs> so make sure you don't do that, and then Dane's going to get filling. Yeah, and so I'm just going to put the piping bag straight down to the bottom and pull up and kind of make it level to the cupcake so that when you put the icing on it doesn't kind of squish everywhere and make a little bit of a mess. Beautiful. 
but I'm just going to cover that up, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I've popped that icing into a piping bag here, a reusable one, which you can get from cupcakegemma.com, along with a whole range of piping nozzles too. I've gone for a star, kind of classic star, because yeah. it's a classic cake, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to do a lovely pipe star on top. Delicious. And then while Sally continues to ice those, I'm going to put a little finishing touch around the edge with some chocolate curls. Now, you can get these online or you could just use a chocolate bar and kind of get a knife really carefully and just kind of drag it towards you and to create like little chocolate shards, which also looks really cool. So what I'm going to do with this is just take a handful of the curls and just gently press them around the edge like so. Ta-da! Looks pretty, right? <laughs> so pretty. <laughs> Seeing as we've got so much of this delicious, beautiful syrup, we might as well put some more on top. It's also going to make these pop as well with that really gorgeous, bright red colour. So I'm just going to do this with a little teaspoon and drizzle it over. Look how beautiful that looks. And if you're using a star nozzle, it kind of like seeps into all the cracks and it looks gorgeous. Now we can't just finish them there. No. No. Oh, gosh, no. Got to finish them with some fresh cherries. So we have got some lovely red cherries here with the stalk on because that looks so pretty and also easier to dip. <laughs> I'm gonna dip them in some chocolate. Um, just got some melted 50% um, chocolate here and I'm gonna dip them straight in. Top tip with these: just go halfway and also keep the cherries in the fridge because then the chocolate sets pretty much immediately. And pop it straight on top. Ah, oh, so cute. <laughs> <laughs> they look brilliant. They do, don't they? Yeah, they really do. And they look really fancy. They look awesome at a party, especially if you're having like a retro party. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> These are a little bit revamped. Yes. Kind of modern. I'm gonna help you. Yes. Not that you're going Thanks. slowly or anything, no, no, but no. I just want to have a go. <laughs> Pretty. <laughs> Very really gorgeous. I think they're some of the best cupcakes you've ever made. I think so. I mean, pretty much I was lost for words just then. You were. <laughs> Hopefully they taste just as good as well. Yeah. Should we tuck in? I think we should. Here goes. They look quite syrupy. They do. Very sticky. Like we're going to make quite a mess. <laughs> and I can never get a whole mouthful to get the cream inside, but if you want to see that, He's your guy. <laughs> <laughs> it goes. Mm. Look at that. Told ya. Yeah. I want to see. Mmm. That's so nice. You've got the kind of tartness from the cherries and that really sweet flavour from the syrup as well is really good. Mm. And the chocolate cake is the perfect chocolate cake for this because it really soaks up yeah. the um, syrup really well because it's nice and light. Yeah. It's kind of per pairs perfectly with the super kind of sweetness from the icing. Yes, and the alcohol in the icing kind of makes it a bit, you say sharp, is mm. the word? Yeah. Yep. Definitely, just adds a whole new kind of like layer. Yeah, tops it off brilliantly. Delicious. Are you going to eat your cherry? Uh, well, I have a stone in, so. That's true. Or oh, maybe. No. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you could probably do that thing where you tie 
You know what I mean? Oh, and not in the... Yeah. Oh, not that talented. I bet Gemma can do it. I bet yeah. Gemma can do it. <laughs> Going to carry on with those in just a moment. But <laughs> um, next week, uh, in two weeks' time, in fact, on the 17th of November, the Sorted Food Gang are coming on our channel and it's going to be kind of Battle of the Cupcakes. Yes. And on the 20th of November, we're all going to be in store um, and you'll have a chance to try some of those cupcakes and it'll be like... 50 cups, put them up, put them up. <laughs> Which cupcake will win? And you can choose. How strong are you? <laughs> oh, look at that. He's so strong. <laughs> yeah. Cool. And also, <laughs> it, Christmas is fast approaching. We'll be launching all our Christmas Bake at Home kits soon. We already popped the Christmas cake one up this week. Um, and the others are coming. We've got the ones from last year, such as the Christmas cookie. We've got the yeah. gingerbread, the yeah. cupcake, and a, a brand new one. And hot chocolate? And the hot chocolate, yes. yes. They'll all be coming very, very soon, so make sure you check out cupcakegemma.com and obviously Instagram, Cupcake Gemma and Crumbs and Doilies, and we'll let you know exactly when they are live. Yeah, and don't forget to subscribe as well yes. because we've got those videos with the Sorted Food Gang coming up and you do not want to miss those. You do not. It is going to be hell loads of fun. Yes, and hell let loose. <laughs> <laughs> right, all that being said, let's go. Yeah. Mm. I've got definitely got it on my face. No, you don't, but I could just... <laughs> <laughs>